everybody. I'm Jo Paul Nguyen. Uh, uh, thank you for your introducing for me, Mr. Young. And uh, today I, I'm gonna be uh, presented about uh, investment environment in Myanmar growth sector. It will take, the presentation will take uh, 30 minutes and after that, all of you can ask questions and I try to answer to my utmost. May I screen share right now? I'm Joe Paul Nguyen from Myanmar, working in the Department of Highways, Minister of Construction. This is the content of my presentation. Firstly, I briefly explain about the um, MOC and DOH. And then the finance, uh, the source of finance, in the brief intro, and also the private sector participation in road operation in Myanmar. And then the Department of Highway responsibility only on the road network. And then international transport languages with Myanmar and neighboring countries. And then the concerning legislation I present it, I'll present. And the PPP process in our country, only DOT, uh, the model of uh, one of the model of PPP, brief explain, and at the end, I summarize about this presentation. Thank you. This is the organization structure of the Ministry of Construction and our department, Department of Highways. In Ministry of Construction, there are five departments. They are Department of Building, responsibility for the building construction, and also the uh, building authority. Then our department, Department of Highways, responsibility for the whole country of the road. Main, uh, major road is all of the major road uh, responsibility by the Department of Highways. And Department of Bridge, constructing the bridge by the government budget or uh, loan grant project for other organization or other countries. And the UHT, Department of Urban and Housing Development. And also the last one is Department of uh, Department of the RRD, uh, Rural Road Development. In our country, uh, three sources of uh, three modes of financing sources. Major one is the government budget. This implement uh, by SOE, state-owned enterprise, and also uh, some projects. Uh, has been a tendering system. And loan grant projects from other organizations or countries. And the last one is a PPP UT company, built operate transfer company. Invest uh, with their expense their budget. This is a private sector participation in road operation. Private sector 
has been participated in road operations since 1996 and uh, Highway Law 2000. I briefly explained about the scheme of participation DOT. It uh, BOT company works daily operation rehabilitation of the uh, existing pavement and upgradation of existing roads. They got the finance from toll collection only. And also the assets of road infrastructure belong to Department of Highways. This is may interest it of the investor incentive extensions of BOT contractors may be interesting. Slide. BOT contractors receive tax exemptions on the import of construction materials while vehicles and construction machinery with official certificates. Secure loans from domestic banks in Myanmar. Finance of sources is loan from domestic banks in Myanmar. And the government never nationalized the assets. And also the ten periods of 40 years, firstly, uh, five to 10 years and extendable to 55 years for one project. Uh, the last one is the government provides right of way at its own cost. The BOT contractors will do, must do, must do the investment of all costs by the BOT contractors to undertake initial repairs and road widening works or upgradation to be completed within a maximum maximum three years, followed by routine and regular maintenance for the contract period. The specification is approved by Department of Highways such as the pavement type with shoulder specification and also the embankment quality. During the operation period, widening and upgrading to asphalt concrete pavement is required if traffic volume reach specified thresholds. And then beauty contractors have to maintain continuously the proper condition of the road in a good manner for full contract period. And transport not to be cut off can bear the expenses of repairing. This is a master plan of road in Myanmar. We have a mission transport master plan done uh, and then a master plan for arterial road network development, Myanmar transport sector policy notes and national logistics master plan.
This is a PPP public private partnership model and road, road and bridge sector. In BOD scheme, private companies total of uh, 23 companies. And the total number of road segment is 63 numbers operated by BOT, BOT companies. And total land of road is 2980, 2980 nearly 3,000 miles operated by BOT. DOD operate uh, about 25% of uh, BOD uh, takes about 11% of uh, the total road network by and to the road network of QH. QH. There are Union Road, Regional or State Road. This data is collected in 2021. Paved road is nearly 20,000 miles in percentage of 75%. And paved road is 6,500 miles, nearly about 25%. The land of UH Road is 26 over 26,000 miles. Type of road in 26,500 miles, 2,400 is the S for concrete road, over 2,000 miles is concrete road. And bituminous road is a 15,000, gravel road, cross road, and unpaved road is also about 6,500 miles. This is a priority, a priority of, sorry, priority of six packages expressway network. E1 expressway number one is a uh, existing expressway. Young Manly, the name is Young Manly Expressway. And also the second one is um, Manly Michina. The third one is a Pate Mongua Shuibu Road. And the fourth one is Membu and Chaokyu Expressway. The fifth one is Yangon Pate Meokan Expressway. And the last one is under undergoing pro project process of Tilawa Nape Chaito Expressway. This is the uh, international transport linkages in Myanmar. Major, the major highways are Asian, Asian highways, Asian highways, GMS, e economic corridor, and IMT trilateral highway, and China Myanmar economic corridor. I'll explain about the ASEAN and Asian highways. As in the figure, you can see, uh, you can see seven numbers of route. AH1 is connected from the India to Thailand, 
passing through the middle of Myanmar, middle portion of Myanmar. ASEAN Highway number two is to the land of 790 kilometers. And then passing through the Thailand and Laos. H3 is connected to, to the China. And H14 is also connected to the to the China. And H triple one, H112, and H123 connected to the Thailand. And GMS economic corridor is three three numbers of routes: East West economic corridor, North South economic corridor, and Southern economic corridor. You can see in the figure to the to the land of routes is two thousand and four hundred kilometers. This is the Indian Myanmar Thai IMT trilateral highway. This is a uh, this is a detailed route of IMT trilateral highway. In China, Myanmar economic corridor, the red one on the map is only Tijai Musa Highway, and the blue one is uh, Nebula Chao Phu Highway, and the third one is the black one, Yang Manli Expressway. This is China Myanmar economic corridor. And also the important routes of China, from China to connect the Chaoqiu deep sea port route. This is a legislation related to the public project and public private partnerships. You can learn, you can learn or study this law. And this, in this pre presentation, the second one, Myanmar investment law is the most important of the investor. Investment law now, Investment law has been changed. And uh, investment law has been uh, uh, re-approved. And the, this is a legislation related to land acquisition, expropriation, and compensation. This is responsible, responsible for the government site. Or the road invest investor. This is the legislation, legislation related to road maintenance, management and development. The investor have to obey the following laws and also the road user need to obey. This is the environmental conservation and environmental impact assessment legislation. This, this is a legislation of the tax This is a priority list of road projects. 
previous slide, in previous slide, I shown about the Yamamali Expressway, Nibla Chaofu Expressway, and Manli Tijai Muse Expressway, and Shuevo Michina Expressway. In public private, uh, for the public private partnership in Myanmar, This is a regulatory and institutional framework for PPP. This is a PPP procedure. Firstly, we choose a selection of candidate PPP projects and pre-feasibility study and project development facility and tendering process. This, uh, this is uh, PPP development steps. Step one is a project identifying and screening. And step two, appraising PPP projects. Step three, structuring, tendering, and contract. After that, we have to step four. We have to do step four, submission to the economic committee in government site. In step five, cabinet, we can, uh, we have to look forward uh, cabinet approval and tender awarding. This is a summary of my presentation. In this uh, in in my presentation, Myanmar investment law is uh, must be emphasized uh, for the investor and for the investor many chances. They have many chances to invest in the Maro sector. They can cooperate with government budget and loan grant project and also invest PPP as well as BOT project. In the red letters. This is a website of uh, legislation in Myanmar. You can easy to find out the uh, legislation with this uh, website. Thank you, all of the audience and all of the participants. <laughs>